Shimshon Each Jerusalem presents Shimshon's Chanukah Suvkaniya Adventure. Hi guys, this is Shimshon Leshinsky reporting from Jerusalem. We're near the end of Chanukah and we have to do our traditional Chanukah crawl, tasting different delightful donuts. So we've come to the best of the best, the Kadosh Bakery. It's the most expensive, the most glamorous. Should we open the box? Should we live beyond the box? Let's do it. It's right here, the chestnuts. It's all very fresh. It's, it's just all happening. It's exciting. I can try the first one. Okay, we're doing the chestnut one now. It certainly looks beautiful. It looks interesting. Wow, they're generous. When I was a boy, it wasn't generous like this. It was just a big bread roll with a tiny teaspoon in it. Fresh, delicious. You can taste the chestnuts. Very soft, fresh donut, a nice cream. You know, so easily we'll give this a 9 out of 10. Now we're moving to the second one, the pavlova. We're cutting it in half here. I can taste the kind of pavlova feel to it. Delicious. And it's a festival about bringing in the light where there's darkness. And Israel has gone through terrible times, traumatic times. Probably the most traumatic since the state of Israel was established. Feeling positive about the future of Israel. Um, I believe in Israel, I believe in the Israeli army. And even though a lot of the politicians are problematic, overall the people um, know what to do to run this country the way it should be run. So I'm Israel Chai, we're hoping for the good future. Well, is, in my opinion, one of the amazing places. They do interesting donuts, fresh, beautiful colors and flavors. They're very popular, sometimes you can't get in here. We'll try a little bit of each. Ferrero Rocher or the gold nut. What do you want to start with? Oh, it's going to be messy this one. It's hard to cut. These donuts are very sophisticated, lots of layers, lots of different things. Not as much filling as I would have expected from a roller din donut. Ooh, in fact, yeah, in fact, it doesn't look like there's enough filling here. He said it's still nice, but it's going to go down to an eight. So four Sufganiot later, and the result of Shimshon's crazy donut extravaganza are in. Kadosh got a 9 and a 9.5 from the food reviewer, giving it a total of 18.5. Roladin got off to a great start with 9.5 on its first Sufganiya, but fell down on donut number 2, which according to Shimshon just didn't have quite enough filling, giving it a total score of 17.5. The victor in the Jerusalem donut runoff for Hanukkah 5784 is none other than Kadosh Cafe.